Hello everyone, welcome back to AFC Game by Game. Today, I thought I'd give you my thoughts on Arsenal's recent debacle. There always seems to be one going on at the minute. This one is surrounding Laurent Koscielny, the last player I would have expected to have thrown his toys out the pram. He has gone on strike and is refusing to go on our pre-season tour to America. Now, this is... When I saw the news, when I saw the club statement, when I saw on Arsenal's Twitter that there was a confirmation statement around Laurent Koscielny, honestly, when I saw it, I was expecting him to have departed the club, him to have gone to Lorient or Bordeaux or a club in France, which I think we were all anticipating happening this summer, and I thought that would have been the end of it. I was a little bit surprised considering that we haven't really heard much news about him departing the club, and given our lack of centre-halves at the minute, I say lack of centre-halves, lack of quality centre-halves, um, I was expecting him to actually remain at Arsenal. So um, I was kind of in, in two minds about this one. But when I saw it, as I say, I thought it, it was going to be a message about him departing the club. When I saw the, the message from the club about his refusal to go on the pre-season tour and the way it was worded, Arsenal really... Uh, expressing their disappointment in Koscielny and the fact that he's o disobeyed uh, commands from the manager, I really wasn't expecting it to be worded quite so harshly. Um, and I think it, it's it's interesting that the club have taken this stance because I think uh, a couple of years ago under Arsene Wenger, this would have been something that would have been kept very, very privy. We'd have seen Koscielny go out of this tour with potentially an injury, a hamstring problem, and I think a lot of Arsenal fans probably would have would have agreed with that, and it wouldn't have been questioned too much. This kind of thing would have been kept under wraps. But the fact it's been made so clear, it shows to me that the club are looking to make everything a bit more transparent. Um, and I, I think they just want to make it clear that this isn't the club's fault. Now, whether you believe that or not is entirely up to you. And uh, as fans, we're, we're never, ever going to know what goes on behind closed doors. We're not truly going to know what happens between Unai Emery and Koscielny when they're in a, in, a, in the manager's room together. It's just not something that we're going to have information to. Um, there's reports, there's speculation, but it's just something that we're not going to know the truths in and out of. Um, and Koscielny, as I say, everyone would be of the agreeance that he's the last person we'd expect to go on strike. He's the last person we would expect to kick off a fuss because he's been so professional. Professional. He's been such a great servant to the club. Has built up a fantastic legacy. A really interesting time in Arsenal's history, where Arsene Wenger has left, where Unai Emery's come in, where he's been a major part of Arsene Wenger's career at Arsenal. Um, I mean, it sounds ridiculous saying that, but uh, he has played a major part in Arsene Wenger's uh, most recent decade at the club, his latter one, um, overseeing that move to the Emirates Stadium. He joined in 2010, of course, we're in 2019. Now he's had almost a decade at the club, um, has really stuck around. He's been a major part of my Arsenal supporting career. He stuck around when players like Nasri, Fabregas, Robbie Van Persie left, had a shaky start to his Arsenal career, but in 2011-12, I remember that being his real coming of age season was fantastic and really if he's been injury free he's been a great great player for us and a player that you know if we had another quality centre half at the time um, I think we could have had a great defence at a point and we did when we had Mert Sacker and Koscielny and we kept so many clean sheets we had so many wins away from home those two were so pivotal and it's probably the best defence we've had in a while um, gotta be honest and you know we really do miss a partnership like that at the minute um, and it goes to show you know that we shouldn't have taken for granted what we had when we had those two at the club because they really did form a really solid partnership. But as I say, Koscielny is um, is really not someone I would have expected to come out of this. And it's, it, again, it's another Arsenal captain that has um, thrown his toys out the prime and wants to leave the club. Van Persie, Fabregas, Thierry Henry, uh, players that want to move away from Arsenal. And to be fair, I can completely understand that he, he wants to move away. He's 33 years old. I believe he's coming up to 34 um, his prime days are past him and to be honest I think his days at Arsenal are are pretty much numbered if he was going to remain in the club next season um, but Arsenal uh, apparently offered him a one year deal um, an extension to his already remaining 12 months on his contract I think that, that would make sense and have him as a bit part player someone to bring through players maybe like Medley these younger players coming into the first team if we did have a Saliba come in uh, it could be potentially um, he could be a great mentor to someone like him so I think it would have made sense for him to stay another year but from his point of view um, for family personal reason I completely appreciate that he'd want to go back to France especially at his age and to still get game time as well where he feels like it may be limited at Arsenal so I completely understand his stance on that front but the stance I can't appreciate and I'm seriously disappointed in, in him for is um, that he, he's captain of Arsenal Football Club and that just seems to mean nothing to any of our most recent captains it's a real real shame that um, the captain's armband whatever you think of it 
for me, it's, it's still a big symbol at the club. And uh, as captain of a football club, you shouldn't you should lead by example. And to players that are going on that tour, I mean, there, there's you know really young players going out there. Um, Koscielny's meant to go out there as an example, as a leader. Whether he's you know not got what he wanted or got what he wanted, I mean, that 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 for me is irrelevant at the moment. Whilst he's contracted to Arsenal Football Club, um, and everyone's saying Koscielny's done so much for the club, the club's done a lot for him as well, and it's it's something that's worked both ways. Um, so I do think he should show the utmost respect until his contract is uh, is seen out. And I do think, you know, maybe later in the window we, we will see an offer come in, but he's still contracted to this club and he should go on that tour. That's that's not something that should be should be up for debate. Um, I think it, it's just it's ludicrous. You know, he could leave straight after the tour. Um, so, I mean... It, it's a strange one, um, and I just I'm I'm struggling to get my head around it. I'm really struggling to 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 question Koscielny's, um stance on this. It, it's just crazy to me, and uh, I, I'm surprised that the club didn't strip him of the captaincy straight away because doing something like that it just shows that he's not committed to the team, and having a player that's not committed shouldn't be captain. Um, and I don't think we're we're in a situation where we should be terminating his contract either. If, if a club, apparently there are three firm offers in France, and if one of these clubs wants him, then they should pay for him. He's still contract to Arsenal. Just because he's a bit old and not as good anymore doesn't mean he should go for free. He's still a player of value. And obviously these players deem him to be a value because they're offering him a three-year contract. So they should pay the money. It's not something that is, uh, as I say, it's not something that should be up for debate. Um, and uh, I sincerely hope that an offer does come in and we can resolve this and we can get him out of the club as soon as possible because... He doesn't want to be there. Um, I don't think the manager and the playing staff and the coaching staff, anyone will want a player that's unhappy at the club despite his almost 10 years of service. As a fan, I certainly don't want him at the club anymore because if we do go into next season with him potentially still as an Arsenal player, uh, we just know that we've got someone that's non-committal and doesn't want to be here. And given that we're already in such a mess at the minute and we're going through this transitional phase, Koscielny has not helped himself by doing this at this moment in time. On the flip side, there are massively two sides of the coin to this. Um, Arsenal haven't helped themselves either by doing this because, I mean, let's be honest, we've been a bit of a laughing stock over the past couple of months. 45 million transfer budget. We're potentially losing out on Saliba uh, to Tottenham, who have made a late bid. Whether that happen or not remains to be seen. Um, we've not spent any money. We've bought in an 18-year-old Martinelli. Uh, we've not done anything this window. We're not looking to be as exciting as I would have hoped he would have been uh, this time in the transfer market. So it's worrying. And Koscielny coming out and saying this, it, we just we just look like an absolute mess. And it, it looks even more stupid with that Adidas advert coming out and Koscielny being there saying we play for the badge. It just looks, it just looks ludicrous. It looks absolutely ridiculous. So he's not helped himself. The club haven't helped themselves. So he should have been kept privy. No matter what disagreement the club have got and what disagreement koscielny has got with the club, this should have been kept under wraps and we should have found a solution for Koscielny to leave the club under um, mutual circumstances. Unfortunately, that's not been the case and it's massively swayed the opinion of fans such as myself. Um, and I, I struggle to see how this is going to move forward because I do think the reason Arsenal were we're kind of reluctant to let him go is because we we haven't got the deals in that we wanted to get done even if we do get Saliba over the line um, or Saliba I have no idea how you meant to pronounce it uh, if we do get him over the line he's going back to um, St. Etienne for another year uh, so we need centre-halves and Koscielny despite his age is still a centre-half that mentally is of good quality to us um, our other centre-half Socrates 31 was probably our standout centre-half last season which isn't saying much Mustafi Looks to still be remaining at Arsenal, which is worrying for me. Uh, Rob Holding is injured. Mavro Panos was unconvincing in the games he played last season. I don't want to be harsh on him, but he was unconvincing and we can't be relying on him. Christian Bielik, a lot of people are saying he should be given a chance, but he's just come up from League One. Yeah, he's done. Uh, he's got promotion with Charlton. He's looked very good there, but it's League One. Let's not forget that. This is two leagues above in the Premier League at the top tier of it as well. So massive ass to be relying on him. Um, but we need to spend money. We need to bring in the experienced centre-half and... The fact we're going on this tour and we've not spent any money is, is troubling. And we've got one month left of the, of the transfer window. We've got less than a month left of the transfer window. So concerning times, for sure. Um, but hopefully we can get this issue resolved as soon as possible. And uh, Koscielny, I, I, I just don't know what he was thinking. Um, I don't know what the club have been thinking about this either. But I think it's it's a good stance they've taken. They've been solid. Um, and hopefully there will be a disciplinary proceeding. He will be stripped to the captaincy and... We will see him uh, depart the club, but massively disappointed in a player that I've I've looked up to for a long time. That's been a massive part of my Arsenal support supporting life. Um, 
as I say, came in as, as a rookie, um, had a great platform to perform at Arsenal, was very loyal, turned down offers from clubs all around the world to play for the club, um, and now this has happened. So it's got to be it's got to be some sort of personal disagreement. Um, I do still think he's he's a massive uh, advocate for Arsenal Football Club. I do still think he loves this club. Um, but I just think he's not not committed to playing for the club, um, which is fine. As I say, I mean, we all expect him to leave. Uh, but whilst he's still contracted to the club, whilst he's still the captain, not going on tour and the club releasing that statement, it's just, it's thrown everything in the air. And this Tottenham bid coming in, it's just this whole, these past two days have just been a complete shambles. We've just fallen right through the floor. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there because... Um, this could get really depressing. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll be speaking to you very, very soon. See you later, guys.